Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to show you something else I have interest in. And since it's Sunday, I'm going to do something good for the soul. So I'm going to call this Soul Sunday. This is the beginning of October, which is my birthday month. So I'm going to do something to soothe the soul today. So today I'm going to be making my own toner, face facial toner. So basically, before I get started, I just want to let you know, first off, that this is something that I personally put together myself. So... Of course, you know, everything isn't going to work for everybody, but sometimes, you know, if you do your research, you can probably come up with your own concoction of your own that best suits your skin type. So today I am using some of my own herbs that I purchased from a site called Mountain Rose. I'm going to include that uh, link down below in the description box. So if you want to check out that online store, it's great for herbs and any and everything that you might need as far as all natural stuff that you want to make yourself or DIY. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be including. This is pretty, once you have all the herbs and everything, it's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I have this bottle that I got from the beauty supply is just one of those applicator bottles this is a little four ounce bottle so what I have here is of course the apple cider vinegar with the mother that's great and I'm not gonna get into the benefits of everything of course you can always look it up but basically I have vitamin E oil cedar wood this is an essential oil and then as far as herbs calendula this is red rose hibiscus flower rosemary and I'll list all these below and this is English lavender. Smells really good. And to mix everything up, I'm just using some purified water. You can use any spring purified, distilled, whatever type of water. I just don't want to use tap water. So what I will do first is I'm going to shake up my and mix up my apple cider vinegar because I'm going to add the the oils in first into the bottle and I don't have any certain measurements this is going to only be a small batch because since it's DIY I only want it to be a small batch I don't want it to be a lot so I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to just pour this to cover pretty much the bottom of the applicator bottle so about that much might not might not need that much or a little more a little less i have oily skin and occasional it's not it's kind of combination so I get occasional pimples, but it's improved a lot. This I've noticed this little mixture helps. I'm going to squeeze in a few drops of this vitamin E oil. And then I'm going to add about 15 drops of the cedar wood. Alright, next I am going to go ahead and get the water boiling. So as far as the water, I'm going to put 
it on like medium high. I'm going to get the water to boil first. Like I said, I'm just pouring in. Just a little water. Like I said, I don't have a measurement, but I just poured in just a little water into the pot. And then we're going to go ahead and add the herbs because this should be starting to heat up pretty soon. So I'm going to take just a little spoon like this <laughs> and we're just going to uh, uh, add just a little bit of each of these herbs. So we'll start with the rose. And I'm filling up the spoon about like that. And because I like the smell of the rose, I'm going to add two spoons of that in there. So here's my bottle here. And I'm just letting that sit to the side until I get my herbs infused in the water here. So we'll add the calendula. I'm going to actually grab that with my hand because it's kind of hard to get out of the bag with the bottle, <laughs> with the uh, spoon. So about two little handfuls of that. Then we'll get the hibiscus. This is going to add a bright red tone to the toner. I get like two of those because these are pretty big leaves. So I'm just getting a few leaves to put in there. Then we'll get some lavender in there. Smells so good. This is what you smell mostly in the toner. It's going to get a spoonful like that and sprinkle it in there. And last but not least, rosemary leaf. Now this rosemary is really good for acne. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. And that's all it is to it. So, see how it looks in the pot. So pretty. So, I'm going to let that come to a boil. And once it starts boiling, then I'm going to let it simmer for I say about 20 minutes or so 15 20 minutes and once it's done we'll just pour it into our bottle shake it up and that'll be the toner I usually wash my face and then I Apply the toner, and it really helps my skin, it balances it out, and it smells good too. So I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope you try this little recipe and see how it works for you and your skin, and I hope that you'll do something soulful. For your Sunday. Bye-bye.